Hello, Bluetooth, it's the one and only Icebound Glaceon. And, uh, yeah, no, I haven't la launched Scrap Mechanic yet. Just. <laughs> Yay! <sighs> okay, so, um. You guys enjoying this season's anime so far? <laughs> Oof. Uh, yeah, I'll let it see for a bit. My internet can handle it. Oof. Hopefully can handle it anyways. So yeah, today we're making a lawnmower. Not a very interesting idea, I guess, and apparently people have tried it before. I think someone said Scrapman? Is he a Scrapman or Moombo? Let's see. Mm-hmm. Oh, Moombo tried it. Was really laggy. So let's see what Moombo did first. Also, thank you guys to all the new subs. Like, damn. <laughs> 396. This is, this is amazing. Um. Oh yeah, he totally did. Oh, he does streams a lot too. Huh. I think he was trying to make a giant lawnmower, wasn't he? Oh yeah, he was trying to make a massive, massive lawnmower. You know, I'm I'm making something actually quite compact. So uh yeah, that'll be a thing. Um if you guys are wondering what I've been doing in scrap mechanic lately, let me just show you guys real quick. If I would have woke up earlier today, I would have had a couple other things done, but I'll just show you what I got done for now. <sighs> it just take two hours to load, apparently. Okay, so, uh... Obviously, it's broken, right? If we turn it on, give it a little bit, it should hopefully fix itself. Or not. Interesting. Let's find it again. Notice it's broken. And if we turn it on, it should hopefully fix itself. See, earlier it was just magically going right into place. Interesting. Let's try spawning in that direction then. So it was fixing itself earlier. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, as you can see, it doesn't create any counter uh, counter rotation. Um, obviously I'm gonna fix the gearing thing there, so it's gonna be a lot smoother, so it doesn't, um, well, like right now it's, it's, uh, not the smoothest piston engine because of the gear ratio constantly making it stuck. Um, so I'm gonna fix that by using a little bit of a different gear. Um, so that, that will be fine once that's done. Um... As for the engine, yeah, the, the engine works great. <laughs> it says actually pretty good. Um, I haven't quite tuned the engine yet, so I could always get a little bit more speed out of her, which is good. Because you want higher speed, less um, actual uh, lift from the propellers itself. Um, with this design, you could literally put as much lift as you want, so that's not too much of an issue. There's also a different blade design I want to try out using the slopes. So I'll be trying that out as well. Um, I believe uh, Allstrike and I are getting into a little bit of a, a well, not piston competition, but um, as for this, what I want to try to do is um, using a single engine without this mechanism here. 
to uh, actually have it, um, yeah, be able to fly without it, you know, rotating the whole plane. But you know, last stream I was making a uh, piston plane V2, and yeah, I just wanted to show you what the progress was of that. Uh, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So yeah. Uh, obviously, if I put this at the front, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so next thing, um, as for the lawnmower, which is um, is a thing. Um, how do I put this? I want the actual blades to be spun by the spud guns, not with an engine. If that's yeah. So the engine will just be for the wheels, and I might not even have that. So, we'll see. Yeah, I don't think everyone, anyone's interested in a lawnmower. Oh well, uh, we will need a controller. I will also need some regular wood. And let's just make a little mock-up design for now. So, this pipe piece or this piece here will have to be replaced with pipes so let's just quickly do that um let me just actually you know what let me let me just make a platform cool i can get rid of newt nice newt newt motherfucker all right so actually have this go up a little bit above the surface here um yeah that should hopefully be fine yeah so what I plan to do is I'm gonna do a thing like this I'm gonna put these on a slight slope I'm gonna have this rotate around that like this which is gonna look weird at first and yeah as <laughs> uh, so we want red five degrees this one five degrees right so that should oh no we want both of them in five for the same direction interesting so this hopefully if we turn it on so we just grab our little, um, oops. I don't know why it's flashing. The hell? Okay. Grab our little XOR thing here, which allows us to fire this at, you know, whatever speed we want. Doesn't really matter. Just allows us to hook up a switch. So we'll just do that, and we'll have this go into both of those. And, um,. Huh. So I wonder if it's... Okay, it is colliding currently. So that that's why it's not rotating. We have to give it a little bit more clearance. Which is fine. That That's that's an easy fix. So we just need to do that. And then we need to fix these angles. Like that. And this time I'm actually going to go a little bit more aggressive. I'm going to make them 10 degrees. So I'm curious if it actually glides. Okay, so that's 10 degrees in the wrong direction. Okay, so that is actually colliding. Okay, so let's lower it to 5. like five should be fine so now the problem with this is let's say we put a piece of cardboard underneath it's not gonna be very consistent at cutting that piece which either means we need to have this thing shoot faster
as you can see the radius around it, right there, it shoots everything around it. So either we need to angle it more, actually I kind of want to see what happens if I uh, put this into a NOR gate here. So they go on at different times. Okay, now let's try actually using it more. Let's actually smooth out that a little bit. There we go. So now let's go. Hmm. So I don't think that's actually smoothing it out. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to have this go into a timer set to three ticks and then that goes into that one there. Because we have, okay, let's try four ticks. Can't add two more spike cannons. See, there's also an option. But then again, if we look at a, a blade of a, um, It's usually just two. Very rarely you'll see more than two, but usually they're just two. So I kind of want to keep to that as well. But yeah, we gotta we gotta see which one cuts this faster. So let me just do that. And then we'll just do, actually, I should probably start putting this on here, just so I don't have to re-weld it every time, but um, I'm actually going to add this on a little uh, piston arm. Just so I can, you know, move it, kind of thing. There we go, so I could just do that and add another switch. We'll go that. That's this one into there, this one into there. I'm gonna put these on five degrees for that. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll have this piston go on a very slow speed. Max distance. Okay, and then we're just going to coat this. And we're going to put this right here just to stop it from, you know, shooting what it's not supposed to shoot. And then just for snits and giggles, we'll paint this um, a darker green as if the grass has been growing a little too long. So now if we, um, well, we, we turn it on. We'll see how much more we need to, uh, <laughs> I 
<laughs> it, it does trim it. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Should I should I glitch weld a couple more in there? Kind of feel like I should. Wouldn't be too hard. the The hardest part is um. Actually, I'm not gonna be using a mirror for this. The hardest part is getting the uh, logic. But um, I'm gonna do a little bit of a trick for this. So. So we have. Well, if we're gonna be doing this way, might as well just do it this way. Would having the bearing not free spin be more consistent? Huh. That's actually a good question. Because, see, I kind of want to have it um, propelled by the spuds themselves, but if it will cut better... You know, let, let's try that. I was going to just put these up into a bunch of logic gates. Uh, and have all the timings, you know, so they go in a nice little sequence. But, um, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll actually try that. Because worst comes to worst, I put in eight spud guns and have it fire every tick, <laughs> which will be quite interesting. Which I totally can do. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll hook it up into an engine. Uh, one thing I do want to modify to this actual thing right here is I want to put the uh, piston... Actually, on here. That's going to sound a little weird at first, but um, you might understand why I'm doing this. Um, okay, no, I have to put it one further. Because it's going to collide with that block there. There we go. And we'll do five. Right? So now if it's going to collide with that, it's not going to be as likely to uh, uh, not as likely to collide if that's a consistency issue there. Um but you did mention that um I uh, will okay, we'll put them both on the same for now. And what's nice about this is I can just do that and do that and then just repaint the whole thing again. Cool. So, um, yeah, let, let's see how... Oh, yeah, that's what you said. Not freeze-floating. So we'll just throw it on an engine then. We'll just do that. Um, other way. Oh, no, it was the right way. Yeah. We'll just... But boat, oh yeah, the uh, the piston-powered boat. Shit, yeah, I forgot. Okay, so this isn't very um. You can you can clearly see the pattern here. But uh, let's see if that pattern works. Absolutely right, it is a little bit more consistent. And if I were to do it that way with um, eight spud guns, then uh, that would actually be the right way to do this. So let me just, you know, hook up eight spud guns to this. Oh boy. Let me just. There we go. 
Much better. Much more room to play with. Spuds colliding with the grass. Um, it's not really too much of an issue right now. That, that technically would be an issue, but it's not an issue. So, you know, that's you don't have to worry about that one. As for this, though, I think I'm just going to... Well... Mm, yeah, I'll do it with bolts. I was going to say I could do a pipe piece so it's attached to there, but uh, we don't actually want it to be attached to there. As for this part, though... Um... Huh. So now we have a slate dilemma. <laughs> um... Hmm. Because now do I put it on... So I'm probably going to have to put it above this. So let me just delete that. And then we'll do like a little... Um... So if I glitch weld this once, right? And then I'm going to have to... Well, you'll see in a moment here. Uh, yeah, because we need, we need three in total. Because the first one... is going to be accessible at all times, which is, you know, what we want. The rest, however, aren't as fortunate, so, um, yeah. Um, you know what, I'm actually going to place this right here. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to weld this. Like that. And, oh, I was going to say, and they're all facing the right direction, but not quite. It's pretty close, though. Cool. So now we can, uh, oh, we can fix up that. We can place a couple switches right there. We can delete that block now. Now we have those screws there. As soon as we um, glitch weld them in, it should be all good. So controller we want at five, five, and we also want to remove this piston eventually, but since we have it right here, that should be fine, which is good. So now let's um, make sure that this sequence actually works. So we want to go, oh wait, do we need one more? I think we actually might need one more. Hmm. Ironically, where that blue one is. <laughs> You know what? Let me just uh, disconnect that. Doesn't matter. We'll put a. Uh, this is gonna look a little ugly, but you know whatever. Just move that out of the way. time. Okay, so we want switch into both that and the, that and, well, we don't really need to do that. Well, yeah, we, we can have it lower the blade. And right, then we'll have that go into there and into there. We're going to have this go into red for both of these, so it's only going to lower it when it turns on. Right, I'm going to have this one go into the first logic gate. 
Alright, first one, and then we're just gonna have this... Well, as I said, it's gonna be a little ugly. So it can go down, then up, instead of, you know, from here and up. But, you know, whatever. Alright, so now we just need to do... You know, that one goes into there. This 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 one goes into there. Uh, which one did I miss? Let's see. So we have one. Oh, I forgot this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. That and that. There we go. So now that we have all of that set up, now we get to do the fun part. <laughs> and by we, I mean me. So let me just replace down this, and we're going to paint this green. Right? And we currently have this going, well, now into there. Set to max, which is good. And then this will obviously be hooked up into that on the lowest speed setting, even though we could just hook it up to the controller, but eh. Because then we could slow it down even more. But I don't think we'll have to slow it down on this version. So now I'm going to name this Mower. Then we're going to go into Blueprint Editor. We're going to go to File, Open, and we're going to search up the word Mower. We're going to load it. Okay, and then we're going to go to Edit. We're going to go to Block Properties. We're going to only select Spud Guns. Mountable Spud Gun. Okay, right, so... The nice thing about having it this way is we can see which position that all the ones below it need to be in. Right here. Right? So all these have to be x equals 20. Cool. Then all these ones have to be 19. There we go. And that should place them all inside of each other. There we go. And then we save and overwrite, which is perfectly fine because we have the backup right here just in case anything goes wrong. But now everything should be perfectly glitch welded. And they are currently welded to that bearing there, or that piece there, so it should be good, hopefully. And, um, let's turn it on. <laughs> yeah, um, now let's see how fast this cuts it. Is that a little overkill? Maybe. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's not overkill, right? Right? That's that's not overkill. <laughs> the poor grass. Jeez. 
dude, though. That's... Okay, let, let's see if we even need the gas engine at this point. Let's just, like, delete the gas engine. Let's just... just... Oh, wow, that doesn't turn as fast as I thought it would. For that many spud guns? That's actually turning quite slowly. Huh. I'm actually kind of surprised how slowly that's turning. Usually when you add more spud guns, you know, things turn a lot faster. Yeah, that, that, that's too slow. We, we do need a gas engine. I don't know why it's turning so slow, though. That's a little odd. But yeah, gas, gas engine does it nicely. So we'll just... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so next, next thing to do. Oops. Next thing we have to do is we have to put a little uh, sh shield around the side, just so it's um, you know not shooting everything it shouldn't be shooting, if that makes any sense. So uh, I don't I don't think we need this anymore, since we confirmed it does work. We make it yeah we we will. If this goes well, I will be making a V twin piston engine. And putting that on here. So I'm not going to make a single cylinder engine because I don't know how to do a single singular or a single piston engine. So I'm going to try a double piston engine and see if that works. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because usually I only go three or more. But if I can do a V twin, then um, that's probably the least amount of pistons you need for. A reliable piston engine. Okay, as for this though, um, I do want to try putting this to a lower set and see if that changes. Okay, so this goes in a circular pattern if you notice. Right, so it's like, it's like a blade, and this is just like every other, and then this is, you know, we don't want that. that that's gross. But this, it's literally going in a, like you can see it, it's, alright, so let's, let's put the shield around it. Um, let's just do that, we'll do this. Again, this is why I put everything on top, so I can just, you know. Okay, so... This, when it's curved, will not collide with that. That'll be fine. Unless that these are flung out so far that it, you know, the bearings don't uh, contain it, which will be unfortunate slightly. So, just in case that becomes an issue, I will be using this. Okay, so next thing we have to do. I was going to use a half block here. But, um, we don't really have, you know, half blocks. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to have to improvise for now. But around this corner over here, there should be more more than enough room to um, let me just throw it from the sides a little bit. Cool. So there should be more than enough room to actually put a little thing on the side here. see. 
So let's actually uh do that. Because we want it like this. Right, because we're gonna have a half block going in through there. Right? And then that's gonna be our outer edge like that. Right, so half block that goes through, outer edge. So what I what I can do, again, lack of half blocks, is I can put a sign that's actually welded magically to this piece right here. So it just goes right through that. Again, that's what I will do. Um, so it's actually, uh, let's see, where where's a good sign? I'll use this one. Doesn't really matter. Any of them will do. But again, this is just a uh, proof of concept. I don't know if this will actually be part of the final design, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm just going to place down the uh, slope pieces first before I glitch weld. Because glitch welding after is kind of redundant once you've already glitch welded. So, um, yeah, okay, so I do want to place a screw right here. Actually, it should weld to that piece there, ironically. So once I have enough of these in place, it will become its own structure. So I might not even need anything fancy like this around it, but oh well, we'll see. So let's just go like this, um, like that, there we go. I'll place this here, and we'll put this right about there. Alright, so now we can delete that, we'll delete that, delete that, and as you can see we have a nice little half block in there. Which means we can now get rid of, well, all of that, and that, and that. And if we wanted to uh, clean it up just a little, which we will be doing shortly, just uh, give me, give me a second to get all this. Do 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 do. Because we have to put one on this side as well, and then the other side, and you, know, you guys get the idea. So I will actually break that, put that there. And I do need... Okay, we'll, we'll do this little pieces after. Well, no, because we need them for... Okay, I'll, I'll do this little pieces now, and then I'll clean it up after. Okay, so let me just get rid of that. Grab the slope pieces. I'll just place all of them in, why not? Doesn't hurt anything, just put these in beforehand. But you can see what I'm going for here. I'm tempted to cover up the top as well with a half block, so don't worry about that, that won't be too bad. Alright, okay, so now let's just... Um, put in this one here. So mirror block right about there, and this block right about there. That was too far. So we'll put it there. Perfect. My mirror block is on this side. Cool. And we'll just do this side. So I'm actually going to put it one closer so I can just put it right up against it. Cool. And last one. But as you can see, it is actually welding to this stuff here, which means I don't actually need the screw. See? It's kind of weird, because I only really need one of them.
But yeah, the, the reason I'm putting these here is so it doesn't spray outside of the walls. Yeah, so now we should be able to um, get rid of that, 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 that. Um, well, I, I left a few curved pieces in there, apparently it doesn't really matter. I guess I didn't really need uh, those fancy pieces in there either. Kind of thought it'd make a nice little, uh, make it a little bit rounder, but we don't really care about the outside anyways. No one's going to see it. As for this part, though, mm, do I want to just do five of them? Oh, well, well, we'll see if she still works first, obviously. So let me just take that. We'll take a couple pistons this time. Oops. Put them both on slow, max distance, slow, max distance. Oops. Yeah. And... Again, we'll just quickly see if this can actually uh, mow an area. So we'll grab the cardboard. Um, this might be a little too high, so let's just... But yeah, we want to get straight lines out of this, which is the goal. So hopefully we get straight lines. Let's see if she sits in. It looks like the walls are working. So let's, um... <laughs> Wait, what? Um... Uh... Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm confused. It's still welded to this block here. It's like... <laughs> like it will... <laughs> it's not... <laughs> it <laughs> lets me place inside of that. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> I should have saved it and or put the switch down here. Huh. Oh, is this the, um... I think that's all my progress. <laughs> Let me just, uh... The most stable flying machine ever. Is a goddamn known more. Yeah, I just had to take pictures of it. We'll land right on it and I'll uh, turn it off to see if that magically fixes it. But I, I know why this happened. It uh it went below the skybox. So but I should be able to um since this is technically on the ground. Or not? 
Okay, apparently not. Let me just uh, whack that off. And then we'll delete. Uh, there we go. Much better. <laughs> More. Well, at least we know it works, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually remove those. There we go. Then we can just put in um a few signs. There we go. But those shouldn't have any issues colliding with anything, hopefully. Again, hopefully. Um, as for this little bit, though, uh, I think what happened is it actually hit the ground a lot. So, um, to fix that, um, I think I'm actually going to have it, uh, Is this finally back on the... Okay. <laughs> Ghost blocks. They're just there permanently now. Hello, Carl. <laughs> just blame Charmant. <laughs> I did the same thing. <laughs> Lol. Thank you. There you go, trip runner. All right, so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to put it on a suspension piece. Which sounds like a bad idea because, well, it is a bad idea, but, um, yeah, whatever. There we go. And we should probably, uh, well, fix that. Hi, right, so, um... So we may or may not have to increase the angle. Cause this isn't very uh a very good lawn mower. Hmm. It's also hitting a lot, which is stopping the blade, so it's not a very smooth motion. So another way to fix that is to do a little trick. Which is that. And as you can see, the lawnmower does not work. But we can actually put this on a really high resistance. Oh, not all of them are firing. I must have accidentally wired something into something else.
There we go. Okay, so the only time it's carving things is when it's bouncing. Which is not a good sign, which means we do have to, uh, well, I have to increase the angle. Which means I have to make room for the angle to increase. Which is a simple fix. All I have to do is do that, do that. Do that. And remove that one, that one, that one. And now we should be able to, um, wait, is that still flush? That shouldn't be flush, it's hitting that. That should prop it up. Or does it have to be, oh, it does have to be less. Just put on three. So let's see, does that, it should be, huh, yeah, it's not really any higher than the surface. Interesting. So that means it's still going to collide with that. Now let me just um, raise it up and then do that. See, how many is that now above it? About half a block, that's perfect. Which means we don't even need that there then. Cool, so now we should be able to increase the angle by about 10 degrees. So let's see how well that cuts. Not at all. Okay, so now let's try increasing it a little bit more to 15 degrees. So it's only exiting from two spots says it's not actually rotating, which means those are in the way. Cool. So now let's actually fix up this. Cool. So now let's start this again and go forward. So I'm starting to think having a spinning blade is not the best idea. But we can always try increasing the angle even more. Make a Zamboni. A Zambodi. Ooh, what's that? But yeah, as I said, I'm starting to think having a spinning blade is not the best idea here. Oh! Um... Abort. <laughs> um, seems I gotta make the frame of this thing out of wood and not destructible parts. <sighs> so let me just pick up that, delete it. But that was promising, though. That's a wood chipper? True, but still.
I just want this thing to at least be able to carve it a straight line. And if it can't, then I'll have to, um, well, improvise. By not making a spinning blade. Cool. So this time we're actually going to paint this part green. And then we'll just, um... No, we'll actually put an... Well, I was going to say, we could put an AND gate. Just to see if there's anything actually below it, but it um, doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, well, at least we know it's it's kind of a straight line. Kind of. Oops. So let's try a slightly different setting. So we're going to try lowering this by one. And I'm going to try painting it again. Cool. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Look at that. That's a, uh, that's a lot more. <laughs> Oops. It didn't really miss too many spots either. So if they wouldn't have fallen, they probably would have been, uh, well, destroyed. But that, that's a lot straighter. Wonder if we can get it even straighter than that. Let's try lowering it one more. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Oh my gosh. Cool. Huh. It's almost like it works better at the lower speeds. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. It's not like a, you know, a nice little five wide, but it's, it's within the uh, width of the actual mower itself. Makes a nice little clean cut. Huh. That's not too bad. And the blade obviously retracts when it's not spinning and only lowers when it is spinning. Interesting. Maybe you could put wood as dirt. Oh, should we, uh, we got a little bit of a leg spike there. Should we see it? Should we see how far it digs? So I'm kind of curious how far it digs. So if we see any brown in the middle, then we know it's a little uh, too aggressive. Or um, any... Um... See, look at it. it doesn't do too many potholes. <laughs> it only missed one block, too, out of all that, which is, like, right in the center. Huh. And obviously this took out a little bit more because it was going too... Uh... Oh, it took me a little bit to stop it. But yeah, that, that's not too bad. That's how much dirt you're kicking up. Yeah, I'm actually happy with this. So let's, um, 
actually save this as a uh, mower two. We're actually gonna delete that one. There we go. Cool. And then we can actually well, that that's probably gonna stay there. Well, no, you know it's not gonna stay there. Easy way to get rid of it. There we go. <laughs> All clean. <laughs> I still can't get rid of that. Okay. But yeah, I, I really gotta do that piston powered boat. Um. So surprised. This, this terrifies me. <laughs> oh gosh. Ah, shit. I'd rather not show that. I'll read it later. Because I can't track it outside the windows. Can I want read it on the other uh, monitor? Okay, so we got our mower. Now we just need to make it, um, you know, actually mow things. So, um, one thing I think I'm going to do is... Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to do that, 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 there. Piston powered. Eventually, yes. Eventually. I said if this all goes really well, eventually, yes, I'll make one. But for now, I want to just make, like, this is, this is pretty compact. Obviously, I'm going to move the engine and everything and, you know, put in, make it look a little nicer. But th this is pretty compact for what it is. Like, damn. I'm surprised. Alright, so for this... So, we don't want it to be a full block. We want it to be in half block, right? We also want it to be able to be lowered, right? Which means there's a decently neat way of doing it, I guess. Uh, we can put a piston inside of this block here, right? And we can have that go into, like, a little dummy peg... Right, which will be probably right about here. And then we'll have our wheels go off of in the middle of that. So, um, yeah. Let me just get that done. Um, see, what we used to be able to do, which was awesome, is you could actually just... Um, well, apparently not anymore. Never mind. I was going to say, uh, you used to be able to have this and then weld it from the inside of that. But you can't do that anymore, sadly. That would have been really nice for right here. But that method does not exist anymore, sadly. So the only other way I can think of to get this in there... is by going like this, 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 and then we take this piece, we take a controller, we rotate it by blue by 90 degrees, and then we put that there, Right, then we take this. Now we just weld that to that. Now we can remove this. Which means we can now put that 
like that, and hopefully that's um hopefully that's enough. Again, I can adjust all the angles of these later, doesn't really matter. Yeah, let me just uh, test how far that actually pushes. But that should be like, well, that actually might be too little of clearance. Let me just do that. There we go. A proper half block of clearance. Which means we can actually, well, we want it to be, we want it to actually start off a little higher and then retract to that. But, um, because this will just have to have active all the time. Which means we could just pull it right out of the controller. And have the controller just default go one. There we go. Neat little tricks you learn. Make things more compact. Do, 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 do. Oops. There we go. Um, this one we'll have to add a steering hinge to, which is you know, perfectly fine. We can get that done whenever. There we go. But yeah, see that? That should be a nice amount of clearance to the ground there. I think this is actually turning on quite nicely. Um, as for this part here, I'm actually going to break that and place it right there. Um, actually, that that's that's too low. Okay, so now we want to have that go into there, and this go into that there, and we want to put it right about there. So now, if we turn it on, we realize the first problem. Unfortunately. But I'm also going to move the switch right on top so I can fit a, another engine in there. So we want to have that go into there. We want to break this. There we go. But I think it doesn't look too bad for a lawnmower. Definitely more compact than Moonbows, which is good. Remember, my whole my whole channel is pretty much just about making things more compact. Um, let me actually just glitch weld that second engine there real quick. So now we have a second engine for the wheels. Again, 
these ones will have to be steering bearings and or we could do tank steering or pseudo tank steering which actually might be an idea um... okay now I kinda wanna be dumb and put a seat right here And then put this right there. There we go. Which means put this to like that. Oh wait. Oh, I, I have it so it turns off. That's not a good thing. You just actually delete that. Ha <laughs> I win. Alright, okay, now to add the steering. and make it a little bit heavier because right now sadly it's 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 too heavy or too light okay so another thing I'm gonna do Do, do, do. So I'm actually going to place that there and that there. But yeah, as you can see, the more weight we add, the uh, the less it wants to, uh, you know, vanish essentially. Yeah, that should be cleaned up nicely. Obviously, I can replace the wood and stuff with metal. You could also glitch weld more metal in there. And I could also lower the seat by A block. And or move it back just a tad. Which is actually the next thing I'm going to do. So, I'm weird, so I'm going to uh, do that, do that, and I'm going to place this right there. So now we can see, yeah. I'm actually going to put this on the lift before I delete the seat, just so it doesn't drive away on me. Yeah, I think this looks a little nicer for how you sit on it. <laughs> we made a lot more. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. I love it. I guess the only problem is getting these to steer, and I have I have two ways I want to make the steer. First one would be putting a steering bearing here and a counter steering bearing on these outside ones, which would actually work surprisingly well. Alternatively, I could actually just use two different pistons and put them on each side here, and do the same thing and have it a lot more accurate, which is what I'm actually very tempted to do. But yeah, for now, I'll just do the uh, counter-steer method. Actually, I don't even think I have enough room for the counter-steer method. Now, with this thing up here. Well, I guess I could go under.
But then again, it would go lower than the bottom of this, and I don't think we want that, actually. Or would it? Hmm, I'm not sure. I think it would. Alright, so next thing would be adding steering. So there's a really weird way you can do steering, which is like this. And it, what it's primarily designed for is making it so, um, well, the, the hinge when it's in a three wide gap can still magically somehow, you know, rotate by uh, hooking these up like this. So I'm going to actually test this. Okay, so we do have to... Hmm. Why well, I forget how this works. Do you need a triple bearing it? I think it needs to be triple bearinged. I don't remember. So I feel like you move it forward and then you rotate it, you know, left. So like this one has to rotate twice as much down here. Which means if I just make this one a steering bearing. Yes, yeah, so we do want to do that. Yeah. So yeah, we just need to make that one there a steering bearing. Which I'll save this as mower three. And then I will actually just delete that. Which again, seems stupid. Because, well, probably not the smartest decision, except for it's what we need to do. So, yeah. Do that, that. Then we weld this. Oh, remove the piston. There we go. Which means I have to temporarily get rid of that and that. Then have this, rotate those, actually not rotate those. Oh, I'm going to have to get access to that controller again anyways. Oh, I still can. Okay, never mind. I can have it rotate those then. We're just going to go 90 degrees, take it off the lift. We're going to throw a piston right there, and then put our screw back. So now that hinge can actually rotate magically. Like that. Which means you just need to hook up that. Make sure that this is all welded to the right structure. A three-wheeler wall. Then we need to delete that, that, and add back our little pole. So now, if we hook back up the... Apparently it disconnected from the back one. I don't remember doing that. Hook up that. And we hook up this to that. That, 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 and that. Let's see if this magically rotates. Okay, so this isn't rotating as much as we need, so we'll delete those. Again, not rotating as much as we need. Huh.
wonder why that doesn't want to rotate. There's nothing really stopping it. Let me try reversing that one. This isn't even doing anything. Okay, so it is kind of doing something. Um... Huh. I don't know how people did this. I really don't remember. I feel like it just has to rotate twice as much, but on the same axis, not like this. Hmm. I don't know why I wanted to do something fancy. These are confusing times, lol. Mm-hmm. So it wants to collide with that, but I also don't want to delete that, because then that, you know, releases that stuff there. But let's see if that actually helps it turn. So let's see, this one goes about that much away from it, and the other one goes a lot more away from it. Okay. Which means I'm actually going to delete that. And spawn it in again. <laughs> and I'm actually going to try locking these two bearings. And seeing how well that rotates. Yeah, I'd say that that's good enough. You're gonna head in? Like head to bed or head in? Alright, so let me actually just remove those two bearings then. Without having to redo all the connections. Oh, okay. I've just seen people using that for steering, and I haven't actually used it before, but I don't know. Ah. I almost feel like I should put suspension. There we go. Whee! A little lawnmower. Just <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
That looks really nice. Almost looks like it's hitting though. Yeah, you can see all the spuds just barely go outside of it. So let's let's try driving on a um a nice flat surface here. So let me just make the entire thing out of well the closest thing we have to grass. So this is not going to want to drive straight, but it should be fine. <laughs> yeah, no. Slight problem. does not want to drive straight. So either we have to have a counter-rotating blade and or just remove the rotating blade in general. What I'm tempted to do is just say, you know what? This is a success. What? <laughs> Lift. There we go. Can't find me. Uh, let's see. Sun is in the. Oh, there you are. You went to the wrong corner. Turn to your right. I'll just come towards you. Oh, there. So I saw you go left instead of right. Because remember, the sun is in that corner. I'm in the opposite corner of the sun. So where the sun is shining. Oh, there you are. Whee! I think it's pretty compact for what it is. Just making it drive straight. Wish it. Um, sure. I said I'm calling this project done, so I'm probably gonna start working on. Uh, I don't know, probably watching anime. I downloaded a bunch of anime, and now I want to watch them all. That and I gotta do the piston plane by trying designs out without using a piston engine just to see if it's where the propeller's placed and you know how fast it is. So I'm pretty sure speed is the most important. Gotta watch it all instead of catch it all. Here, you can try driving it if you want. It's already saved, so. I said I kind of wanted to not have an engine rotate the uh, blades, but I, know, I think you sit in it quite nicely. But yeah, it shoots one spud a second, or per tick, which is eight spuds a second.
So I could double the amount. But, uh, you know, I think I like it. It's not too bad. It also might be a little too fast, but it seemed like it was getting stuck when it didn't have suspension, so... Yeah. But I think using the piston like that to raise it up by half a block works pretty well. Instead of using bearings to raise it up. I, I kind of like this method. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, just one button. I think it's pretty simple and compact and such. I could also add metal right there. And then just cover this part up with that. Um... I guess Discord. Oh, you mean uh, on a server Discord chat or yeah, Discord server chat? Okay, I thought you meant just call me on Discord, but yeah, I'll just I'll just go into there. Blah. Hello. Oh, I don't think I have, um, I have it set to my vibe. There we go. Now it should work. It's looking pretty awesome. Thank you. Managed to eventually find you in the scoot. Mm-hmm. Fastest scoot in the west. Yeah, so I just got to start replacing the unnecessary wood with metal, since metal is ha uh, heavier. Mm, it'd probably fix the problem with it spinning slowly as you turn the rotors on. Uh, it That's helps. It just it doesn't flat out solve it, sadly. Yeah. For some reason, when I first saw the stream, I was thinking, how big is it going to be? Because some t Because my dumb head was thinking... What about having two rotors attached to one rotor? So, i actually just make a quick example right here. So you'd have, like, your... Oh my god, the lag. You'd have your one rotor. But then on the bottom of each end of the rotor... Oops. You have, like, a second spud gun. It'd be very wide. Kind of like a street cleaner, but... So yeah, grass. but that that's not how blades on a, on a lawnmower work, though. It's just a single yeah, blade. Not... But when, when you, I guess when you first saw it, that's what you were thinking, though, right? Yeah, that's what my creative child brain thought. There you go. But at the same time, a regular lawnmower is clearly more compact and efficient, since it probably wouldn't turn into a tornado. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That it is. Mm -hmm. But I like how when you spawn it, it's completely flat. Yeah, and then when you um let it down, it yeah extends the wheels just a little mm -hmm. bit. But that should mitigate it a. L oh no, it still rotates a lot. Darn! I thought replacing all the wood with metal would help. Doesn't really do much. It's still worth it, though. I also think it cleans it up a little bit. Adding the front and the back part. Hmm. Oh. 
Well, time to save it. Do, 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 do. I don't know. So you're planning on doing the boat, or yeah, yeah, doing it later? I'll, I'll do the boat. Oh, that also kind of fixes it being a little too fast. Now it's just well, it was too fast. Now it's just a little too fast. Oh, the lag is making the wheels. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's because I'm putting a piston inside of something. Multiplayer doesn't like that. Did I save it? I think I saved that boat I made a while ago. It might... Yeah, I did. Or maybe that's the one I downloaded. No, that's the one I downloaded. I made a boat. I, you, yeah, you know that. A while ago. Mm -hmm. And it's actually pretty good. It uses a way too many mods, so I can't spawn it here. But it's very detailed. And also it is quite fast with the buoyancy mod. It's obviously not very efficient. It falls over and it's not very well made. I don't know how the buoyancy mod works very well. But besides that, it is pretty cool. Um, is the buoyancy the mod is actually... Plane? Yep. Uh, the, it, it's a work in progress. Yeah. Single prop. Single prop, single engine. I just need to tune it a little bit. It looks pretty good, though. It's got the famous cup wheels. Yes. Have you saved it? Um. I'm just curious if I saved that version of it. I do. I do believe so. Yes. Cool, because I might accidentally lose it. Okay. It, it can't actually fly, so. Oh. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet, at least. Yeah. As I said, I still have to tune it. But yeah, if you, uh, I, I think I left a piston engine over here. Did you know. make a V6 I engine made it smaller the than the one on the workshop. Yeah. Like, the one that's in that plane is already smaller than the one that's on the workshop. Which piston engine is that on? That's my one I'm not going to upload. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is technically already uploaded. Technically. Yeah, the, the piston engine that's in here is one block smaller than the one that's on the top of the workshop. Wow. Yeah, that's really th small. Because this is the one that's on the top of the workshop. And it is a V engine. Yep. Wow. But yeah, this, this is the one that's on the top. It uses logic gates and such. Right? So what I did to it is I compacted it a little bit. So I can put it in this, which multiplayer will not like, but clearly not. But yeah. well, for me, it's having an existential crisis, but for you, it's probably a normal yep. car. It, it's also lagging quite a bit for me because yeah. it's not a very optimized creation. Um, clean four. Clean there we go. Or save. There we go. Yeah. yeah very it, clean. <laughs> it actually goes inside the wheels if you notice. <laughs> yeah. Like there's literally bearings inside the wheel. The power of glitch welding. Well, I I placed the wheels there after. Like it, it it's still like everything fits in there. You can still steer with the wheels and everything. The piston has more than enough room to breathe. The piston. At least. So, yeah, th this is using the smaller version. And it also has three gear ratios. It's fuel powered as automatic signal lights, brake lights, headlights. The hood can actually open up so you can see the engine while it's moving. The back also opens up, and I left a decent amount of space, not a lot. But yeah, it, it's got three gear, gear ratios, so it goes three different speeds. I think it looks very realistic for something in Scrap Mechanic as well, which I congratulate you on. It's vanilla. 100%. Exactly. Yes. So I, I think it's decent for vanilla. For your standards, it's decent. For me, that's probably one of the most amazing things I've seen today. But yeah, this, this is already on the workshop. Yeah. So you, you can delete it. But yeah, the engine in this spawns perfectly every time compared to the V6 that's on the workshop. So, yeah. Sometimes the piston engines can have a few issues. 
Well, it's what I'm doing to the drive shaft. But yeah, this is what the engine used to look like. And before I compacted it. Hmm. So. It's a little bit bigger. Yeah. It, it's three blocks longer and one block taller. So, yeah. Got it down a little bit. And the original gear, like, literally this thing, if you look at the back, and, and well, the front as well. Because this has three gear ratios as well, because it uses the exact same mechanism. Yep. And then the back has the exact same differential. This is, yeah, this is definitely very different to the new one. But yeah, this is what I designed it off of. But yeah, the, the V6 actually fits in the exact same space as the three-cylinder. Which is wow. kind of interesting. Twice the twice the power, kind of. Um, yeah, it, it's literally twice. Size. It's more than twice the power, actually. Yeah. Because it's better tuned. So That's it's it's actually really nice. Like if, if you ever what save it and try it out, it's it goes faster than most piston engines you could think of. So it's, it's actually pretty nice. Yeah, I'll have to make the piston-powered boats. Uh, I am going to have to make a twin V engine, which is actually going to be quite simple to make. Because I already have everything for it. Like, this is the more compact. It's the original boat is vanilla. It's, I don't know how it works. I think it hovers. It's going to be... Oh, yeah, it's got thrusters in there. Yeah, it uses thrusters. I had to get rid of every single one on the inside. It's also awfully confusing on how you get in. Is it lever here? I never noticed it. It does actually float very well, but it's not. Oh, there's a free floating bearing good. just sitting there. It's not very good in sense of using the buoyancy mod when I put two motors in the back and it just looks generally stupid. I put so much power into the motors by stacking up propellers at the back that it actually ended up not being able to steer at some point, so I had to redesign it. The actual driving mechanism entirely which is a pain but at the same time it wasn't because it's like just move move a few bearings that sort of thing and boom actually looks all right when you put it on a on the ground but now because of multiplayer lag it's having no it, it's passing up for me too i i oh it is yeah this is not oh. this is why this one isn't awesome. uploaded <laughs> I have one of these already in the world, but I have to uh, either find it or I just place another one. So I'm just placing another one. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So it should be over here. Yeah, for me, it's um, kind of half all right, half having a stroke. It, the barrel is clearly moving, but the engine is Whee! stretching out and hitting the ground occasionally. It launches you a decent distance. <laughs> So, yeah, it, it spins it pretty fast. Whee! Yeah. <laughs> it's just... You want to get started on the boat? Uh, there'll be a different stream. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to dedicate its own stream to that. Yeah, you just start a different stream and have to go into a different world as well because we don't have the buoyancy mod here. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to build it before you using the buoyancy mod. Well, I'll probably do it on either Friday or Saturday. Not today. Mm. Not today. All right, right, then. Today is technically Friday, but, you know, normal screen schedule time. Whee! Yep. I don't know. I, I just... It's so nice and compact and just works. I love it. It's pretty cool, yeah. Can I actually, I just realized I can go on the stream to see the way it actually works. Yeah, that is really compact. Wow. And efficient. Mm-hmm. And also a great tool to launch people. Yes. Because this thing, even if you put a shit ton of weight on it, Oh, I can't. I, it won't let me place any more, but it can go significantly more. It has no issues with all that. 
at all. Wow. Like I could just. Yeah. I don't know. I like it. Works. Lawnmower works too, which is always good to know. Mm hmm. Still turns left when the thing is on. I'm which almost is thinking, always good should to I know. put a suspension glitch in there just to counter rotate it whenever the engine's on? Possibly. It'd be really easy to do. <laughs> like, really, really easy to do. I could even hide it inside the seat. Probably, yeah. Actually, not probably, definitely. Like, oh, that is extremely tempting. Just to have it rotate in the opposite direction. Just very minimally. By, like, a degree. And that would, uh... Hopefully, make it drive straight. So yeah, before I upload to the workshop, that's what I'll do, but I don't know, I think it looks decent. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a little lawnmower car. Well, if you ever want to turn right really fast, just turn on the engine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't do anything, sadly. Oh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> you jammed it. For a second, and then it just started again. Mm. Darn. Yeah, that <laughs> actually is a lot worse when you do it that Well, way. it depends what angle you get onto it, right? Yeah, you gotta get it. Gotta get it at a bad... Good angle. Good, yes. Yeah. I have s very bad Whee. English skills. You could almost hit the fence. Oh, almost, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if you hold forward and sprint, you move a little bit further. So you just gotta hit, like, well, perfect angle. We Ah, oh, that was bad. <laughs> oh, well. But yeah, if, if you guys liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, why are you still watching? There's so many YouTubers that do this kind of stuff better. Um, if you guys want me to put the stuff on the workshop or link to any creations, it will be there. Um, before I publish stuff, I usually put in the community creations in my server first. So, you know, either A, join my server, or B, post stuff there as well. Because if I get enough stuff there, I'll do a video on it. Because why not? Oh, and if there's things you guys want me to build, like um, a stop and slide suggested a piston-powered boat. So, yeah. That's that's something I will be building just because it was suggested. Oh, there we go. That was some good air. Yeah, it was. Ooh. And stream couldn't see it because I had it on the other. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Outro, yeah. Yep. Should we, is there even any game sound this entire video? Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah, there was.